Hello everyone, welcome to my watercolor painting channel and today we're gonna be painting blue morpho butterfly. Before we begin I would like to remind you that I have a Patreon where I upload watercolor tutorial lessons weekly. Join me and become my student. The blue morphous butterfly's wings are bright blue and edged with black. The blue morpho is among the largest butterflies in the world, with wings spanning from 5 to 8 inches. And uh, what is iridescent? Iridescent is simply um, showing luminous colours that seems to change when seen from different angles. So that's what it is. And in today's video, we're going to be learning how to reach this effect uh, using watercolour. So for this painting I've used um, quite simple uh, pigments. Um, uh, for the main layer, that's going to be our first layer, I've used a little bit of Prussian blue mixed with a dash of emerald and maybe just a little bit of cadmium yellow. And then for darker parts of the wing I've mixed uh, Payne's Grey with a little bit of Prussian Blue and then dash of uh, emerald, blue, uh, emerald as well. And for other layers that goes on top of the, our first layer I've just used more tonal values of the same pigments. Uh, but I will talk uh, to you about it more in this video. And for the edges of um, butterflies' wings, I've used burnt amber mixed with a little bit of Payne's grey or lamb black. You can use either uh, because if you look at the reference picture, you will see that these edges, the edges of this butterfly, they're not 100% looking black. Uh, I can see a lot of warmth, a lot of um, brown colour in this, so that's why I've used a combination of this colour to reach that effect. So let's begin. So I am starting with my first layer using Prussian blue with a dash of emerald and just a little bit of Payne's grey, just a tiny bit. So I'm painting starting from sides and I'm leaving the middle of each wing almost transparent, adding more pigment to the edges and then moving pigment and lifting it up. I look at my reference picture and I think about my tonal values so the lighter tones will be sort of in the middle of the wings and if you look closer each wing separated with lines into segments and it will be in the middle of each segment so the lighter tones will be in those little segments. But with the first layer, I don't focus too much on it because uh, with how I paint, I don't use a lot of color. So, it, um, so I will add them with other layers, and I can highlight the lightest parts by adding darker tones. Now, using more pigment, Prussian blue with emerald and a smaller brush I am making bleeds and I am adding them to the sides of the butterfly and then I'm adding only emerald mixed with cadmium yellow also with my bleeds making a refined shadow between wings or just adding cadmium yellow and uh, emerald um, and I'm placing it closer to the butterfly's body uh, for this one I don't have a um, particular reference picture uh, for the butterfly but I mean you can use any but I just use uh, common knowledge on what I see on the picture of any uh, blue morpho butterfly and I'm trying to separate uh, segments on butterfly wings so I am doing negative painting which means that I am creating um, darker layers leaving under layer untouched so I am leaving those white veins on butterfly wings uh, 
uh, untouched so they will seem um, light and really light and then to highlight them even more I add a little bit of more of Prussian blue to the edges to the corners of where they those vein, uh, those veins meet for this process I've used two brushes one is a big brush and size is six and another brush it could be one or two but I would recommend uh, number one or zero mm -hmm. zero would be good as well uh, so I with a thinner brush I am um, painting the line mm -hmm. where would be the edge of the, that segment and then I sometimes swap it to the bigger brush to sort of lift the pigment and move uh, the paint around that segment because I'm painting each segment separately uh, so you can see that I'm just moving with a bigger brush and um, um, and covering all the segments with uh, fresh paint and it doesn't matter I mean it's um, it could uh, have not much pigment on it but then while this segment is wet I add a little bit more color to the edge and I allow it to bleed um, and it will allow me to reach that effect where in the middle of the segment there's still light see-through colors yeah very very light and to the edges uh, it's much darker so it creates sort of volume of each segment of uh, butterfly wings so here I will be using only three colors to make my finest uh, brush strokes um, it's Prussian blue uh, cadmium yellow and emerald and now when all the layers are dried out it's time to paint my black edges on the butterfly so for this I'm using the combination of colors um, it's paint gray mixed with burnt uh, amber so I am thinking of using more burnt amber to start with and then if you look at the reference picture it's um, blended with uh, with blue color so I'm thinking that I am start with burnt amber and try to um, paint borders and then uh, with my mop brush I'm trying to make a gra uh, gradient with this and then uh, towards the edges I will use more paints grey so darker colour towards the end of the butterfly wing to highlight it to, um, to reflect a uh, reference picture so next part when the black and brown colour dried out on, uh, for the edges of the wings I am going to be using my fine brush strokes uh, to paint again to, um, so I'm using uh, two separate colors and I am combining them differently so for the darker parts of my uh, butterfly wings I use only paint gray so it's quite dark and for the lighter parts I use just a light um, burnt amber color um, so it will cre create and give uh, the effect that it's you know it's not one plain color uh, and I like creating uh, that effect where it's just the color isn't flat uh, and yet yes it's dark yes it's black but it still has different colors in it then um, there's two more things left so I am adding dots uh, where the black meets blue uh, and I also just occasionally uh, put those black dots using Payne's grey uh, on body of the on the body of the moth and on the swings and uh, but mostly I'm putting them uh, somewhere close uh, where the black meets blue my last part will be adding cadmium yellow brush strokes uh, for the butterfly wings you notice that some of them I don't place only on light parts of the butterfly but also on darker parts as well which gives me this effect that we are learning about 
um, and I think it looks uh, really nice now with this yellow color and I think it has that effect uh, and I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with tonal values for this painting and now I think my painting is complete. Join me on Patreon to watch full tutorial and have a full access to my growing library with watercolour lessons which I add to my channel weekly. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below, subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye!